Okay, so today we're going to make chai flavoured vinegar. And there's our chai flowers. And uh, yeah, there are bees on them, and bees do enjoy the pollen from these flowers. But there's also plenty of alliums around the garden that the bees tend to prefer more, like uh, these two, for example. And uh, there's quite a few alliums dotted about the garden, so we're not depriving them of anything, really. So, right. So, here's what you need to make chai vinegar. So, the chai flowers there, and then over here, we've got a sterilised jar and some vinegar. I'm just going to use normal distilled white vinegar. You could use uh, cider apple vinegar for this, or any of the other vinegars. So, I'm just going to use this because... It's what I've got in and it's what I can afford at the moment. So let's go and cut the chives and let's get on with it. Right, okay, so we've got our chive flowers in a jar and we've not packed them in or anything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pour vinegar over them. That's all they're basically covered. I think there's just enough in this bottle to do that actually by the looks of it. And uh, there's two ways of doing this actually, there's a, one of them which is a quick method which is pouring hot vinegar on and uh, it brings the taste and the, uh, the dye out of the chives almost immediately. This way this is a slow process and we're going to do this over two weeks. So uh, this is part one of the video. So we're just going to push them down a little bit, everything's very very clean of course. Apart from we've got a bug there that's made its way in, you always get one. So, uh, yeah, so the jar's been sterilised and uh, chai flowers washed and uh, they're in vinegar now. So we're going to put the lid on and we're going to put the lid on nice and tight and give it a bit of a shake. And then we're going to leave this for two weeks and then during that two weeks, sorry about the noise, the, uh, the flavours from the chives and the colour are going to blend in with the vinegar and it's going to go a lovely sort of violet colour. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, please tune into part two in two weeks. Uh, hope everybody's uh, remaining to stay sane. Look after each other. Peace and love. See you soon.